Triple, they get it down on the block. Mutz goes baseline, Mutz gets it stolen away. Stolen away by McGuire, he tried to get it out of the paint. Andre for three, good! Andre connects from way out, and we're tied, 55-55. Andre has 21, and we have 35 seconds to go. Who is that, Atlantic City's Lamar Thomas jacking shots up from that deep? We're on his home court, but Pat Andre, my goodness, that's NBA plus range. That might be the new open. Wow. Here's Nelson. We got a full house standing. Unbelievable. 20 seconds to go. Nelson, stared down by Salcedo. 10 seconds to play. Salcedo comes out on Nelson. Nelson drives to the basket. Nelson all the way. Shot up. Good. And he's fouled. Still two seconds to go, Mike, but and one for Saeed Nelson. Unbelievable finish, draws the contact, takes the contact, and scores. They haven't put the points up yet. I believe they will. Now, Bill, it saw what I saw. There was at least three seconds that came off that clock. All right, we do have the points on the board now, so that's one part of this, and they gotta try to get this clock situation figured out. I looked up at that clock, there was about five seconds when that ball went down, and it is 2.4 right now. But I don't know that anybody noticed it. I thought Billet was talking about that. It seemed like he was pointing at the clock. 57-55, Nelson can give them a three-point lead. His 24th point of the night, So two seconds here for CBA. CBA will inbound the basketball. They get it to Andre. Andre's going to turn. Andre with the ball on the floor. Shot is up. It's no good. And the Hermits get revenge. Okay, I'm over here with Coach Paul Rodeo, guys. 58-55. And Saeed Nelson's with me, too. Let's get Saeed out of here first with the easy question. Put the ball in the hands of your best player at the end of the game. You had the ball in your hands came up clutch. Tell me about that play. Uh, I knew not to uh, shoot it too early. We didn't want to give them another shot or a chance at going back down the court and shooting something, so I waited to the last possible second. And I did what I did best. I drew the basket, got the one. How sweet it is. I'll let you go. I'll go to you. My goodness gracious. Uh, I'll say this tongue in cheek. Never a doubt, right? You had it the whole way. Uh, they're a very good basketball team. They're well coached. They know what they want to do. He shoots the ball. He made some big threes down the stretch for them. Uh, but give our kids credit. They hung in there. So I made the plays he had them make down the, down the stretch. Been a mistake here and there to keep them in it. But uh, give them a lot of credit. They're a very good basketball team. I thought they were so fundamentally sound. Offensive glass is something you're preaching to your guys, I'm sure. I mean, in that second quarter, third quarter, we held them and played very good defensively. But they hurt us on the offensive glass. And that was more from our guards than anybody else. So we'll go in and talk about it. We'll look at the film and... Uh, be ready for him the next time. And you could see him again, Coach. I mean, this is like, I don't know, I want to say Frazier Ali, but I mean, you're familiar with this team, and you could see him again in the playoffs. They're very good. It'll be a good game down the stretch. We'll got a lot to happen before that. All right, Thanks. go give your instructions. Paul Rodeo with us, where the St. Augustine Hermits win 58-55 on the last second. Count the basket, plus the foul from Saeed Nelson, who I feel like I've been saying his name for the last 15 years.